Hello guys, my name is Eros, I'm back with another video, and today's video we're going to be looking at Visual Studio and C Sharp, as in the previous video we did, uh, we did also look at that, uh, but in today's video we're going to be creating is a guessing, um, guess the number game, it's just simple, the computer will just randomise number and the player will have, uh, will have to try and guess it, it's a very simple program, but in the future we may try and expand upon it, so, but let's first begin, now, in this series I would like to on this for this video, this could later become a series. In this video, I'd like to be able to um, print the game, but explain through what I'm exactly doing, and hopefully this will help you gain knowledge of C Sharp, and ho hopefully you'll be able to create different games or the same game and expand in your own way. But anyway, let's start off with actually by actually creating over here, randomizing over here number. So in C Sharp, you can just say random. And there exists a random class, we're just going to call this random nup. Yeah, we're just going to call it random. Random equals new random. So instantiating is the random class. So we're creating an object of random. So think about random. A class is a class essentially contains many uh, contains many variables and many methods. Think of a think random as of Here's this file full of code on how to randomize a number for about random randomizing numbers. We're just taking instantiation of that, so we're just creating a copy of that. So we're just creating a copy of the random class. So we're creating a copy of all this code that's available to us. And we're just gonna use is the next function. And the next function takes in, if you go down, so I'm let's just go through it. It can take in nothing, it can take in a max value. Or it can take in a min value and a max value. Now we're going to use the min and max value. Why we're we going to use that is because if we just put max value, we just say okay, all numbers up to hundred. It's going to do from zero. We don't want zero because that's not. Although yes, it is a number. It's not a natural number. It's not a, nat it's a natural number. Um, meaning numbers that us humans use. We we don't really use the number zero in our daily lives. <laughs> so we'll be putting over here one as a minimum value. And the maximum we can put is 100. And that will just generate over here a number between these two. And we're actually going to store that number into an int uh, number. Just going to call it number, I guess. So int number will be equal to a random number between these two with these two values. And then what we're going to say is we're going to say over here uh, while uh, true. So what the while does is always going to loop around whatever it's inside of it until a condition is met, i.e. until until we've actually broken off the loop. And I'll explain that once we once we begin to do that. So what we're gonna come here is we're gonna actually ask the user for a number. So we're gonna so we're gonna do over here is console dot right uh, dot right line. And we're gonna say over here give us a number. Give us a number. Then we're going to say over here, console.readline. We're actually going to store that over here. So we're going to store over here a number. We're going to, see, we're going to call this um, user guess. And this is going to be, of course, also another int. So the user will guess an int. Of course, over here is complaining about can't convert strings. So what we have to do is we're going to have to actually pass this because it actually reads it as a string. So we're actually going to have to pass it, or convert it, but whatever term you like to use. C sharp is the term pass, so we have to try and pass this. So we're going to do int, I think it's photo.pass. And that will just convert it. Now there is also available here the try pass. Now the try pass actually has to be an out int result. So in case yet it's not able to pass it, produce produce a, a default result. But for now, we're not, we're not going to delve into that for now. We'll just use a simple pass. Error checking could be uh, uh, um, could be a next video. Um, so yeah, so we're just passing it, so we're converting it into an integer, and then we want to actually check to see if it's equal to the number. So we want to say if user guess is equal equal to the number, then we're just simply just going to break. 
And what break does, it just comes off this loop. That, that's all it does. That's all it does. And uh, once you come up the loop, once you come out, once you've uh, come out the loop, just print this. Well done. Yeah, just print well done. Whatever. <laughs> Else if. So if it's not user guess uh, equals equals number small, what if the user guess is higher than than uh, the number? Then what we want to say is we want to say here console dot right line too high. And we're just going to put an else statement. Now you could just say an else if actually. And that, actually yeah, we're going to do an else if actually instead. Because we're going to say what well, if it's less than. We say too low, but what if you put also out the bounds as well. That's also a thing that I'm also going to put there. That's why I decided to use an else if. But, uh, else if, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say if, uh, if, user, uh, if username is greater than number and and the user guess and the user guess is greater than zero and the user guess is less than is less than is less than 101 then you can say it's too high actually else if user guess is greater a number. Maybe we should actually do that as a first statement. If you if user guess is greater than number and it's good. Actually no, that'll be fine. Be fine. Just making sure it works. Okay, that should work. <laughs> else if to do too low. And then I guess just else. Then we can say else. Then we can just say over here. Control dot right line guess out of bounds. So we're gonna test this quickly. Let's quickly test this. It's burned for the first time, so this can take a few minutes when it's when it's the first time. Right, give us a number. I think it should be guess. Well we can keep it. Give us a number. 56. Too low, give us a number. Um Too low, so let's go 98, too high. 67, too low. Okay, let's go 70, too low. 80, too low. 85, too, still too low. Have I done 89? No, I've not. 90, oh my god, still too low. 93, boom, excellent. Let's try 5, what if we do over here? 100, too high. Okay, so that works 101. Guess our bounds, good. Zero. Guess our bounds. Yes, that works. Okay, we're going to do this last game. Oh, that's too high, so let's go uh, 88. Too high. 85. 80. Oh, let's do 80. Too high. 75. Too low. 76. Too, 77. 77. Okay, so that's a quick short little game, which I managed to actually complete, uh, finish it up quite quickly so in C sharp it's quite easy to um can be quite easy to um actually program actually do do a task quite quickly and that that's thanks to the dotnet framework that's available which allows us to communicate to communicate with the console very nicely you know we can just say constant right line um and allows us to do many things many things with windows as well which we, we can explore in later videos but um for now this is where this video ends. If you guys would like me to do another video expanding this game, please tell me down there in the comments. Uh, liking this video will also suggest me that you actually want me to continue with this. Um, if you have any suggestions on improvability or any features you'd like to add to this and expand upon it, leave them down in the comments. And if there are a lot of suggestions and people seem to want me to do another episode, I will do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.